Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. Alright, so in, uh, in today's video, we're gonna be um, going off against China Peacekeeper and this is gonna be a replay. Alright, but before we start, guys, uh, please do subscribe, like, alright, and turn on the uh, notifications to not miss an upload or streams on my channel. Okay, and right now, we're gonna go on ahead and jump straight into this replay. Alright, now in this video, I opted for two factory, one special factory, alright, as my intention were to uh, rash jugglers and such, alright, and then I use, uh, I think, four or five red boost in this battle since the uh, China Peacekeeper is a gold booster, alright, and so as you can see, alright, uh, right now, I am building up things. Alright, to gather those uh, resources as fast as I can. The more you get, the better. Alright. Alright, and so there you go. Red scouting. Alright, bonus uh, view or vision of your infantry. Alright, and also speed. Okay, as you can see, I've gathered the two containers over here. And one over here. Uh-huh, missed that, barely missed it. There you go. Alright, and so right now we're going to be uh, fast-forwarding things. Okay, and uh, there you go. I'm going to go ahead and build my uh, other, of course, facilities, admin buildings for me to have my development faster. Okay, and as you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, as you can see, uh, his infantry... All right, is running as fast, all right, or almost at the same speed with my rifleman. Okay, so that's a gold boost, scouting. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and fast forward a bit. All right. Now, of course, guys, do not all right, don't forget to put a scout on your enemy bases all right i mean on your enemy's base okay because uh, every information that you gather is very very essential all right so my initial initial plan over here was to uh of course rush jag uh, rush jaguars and chameleon all right but uh any moment from now all right i will see something that will actually change my mind about how i do things there all right Okay, and uh, let's see. Alright, and so it is going to be... Alright, I'm probably thinking about this point that this will probably be two factory Zeus. Alright, and then Torrents. Now, especially with the narrow entrances on the uh, enemy's base, alright, I will have a hard time uh, entering the base. Especially if there's like Torrents, they can just like fire at this place. All right, at the choke points, and then that'll just destroy my army. All right, so you know that's actually a bad idea, and so I switched the uh, tactic right away as soon as I got that information and confirmed that he will actually do it. And as you can see, he did upgrade to level two, uh, advanced factory that he got here. So I opted for mammoths, jaguars, and of course we're gonna be adding one more special vehicle factory for at least uh, porcupines right because uh, this opponent is also a cyclone and vertex spammer all right to avoid such uh, devastating scenarios and right now my thoughts were correct uh, earlier all right and i am actually thinking uh, that he might add vertex cyclones or anything like that but given the uh, map layout he doesn't have anything or any spaces to build them. Uh, it can be here or here, but he built a building here. So that's going to be a no-go already. All right. And also, guys, don't forget to scout again if you uh, have the chance. Okay. To confirm your instinct, if your instinct is correct, of course. All right. And so right now, we're going to go ahead and start to siege up this uh, point. All right, because this is this point is the very uh, is the most crucial point. All right, very advantageous. All right, 
And any moment from now, we're going to be sieging his base. Alright, and there goes the additional special advanced factory. Or special factory. <laughs> Alright, special vehicle factory rather. Alright, and we're going to be producing one porcupine there. Okay, and then I'll be upgrading this to have chameleons since I already have two mammoths. One already got out, as you can see. Alright, no, two. And then I have four jaguars already. One porcupine, at least two. Alright, for insurance. And as you can see, guys, this rifleman over here is very, very essential as I can actually see. Alright, his units. Alright, so if I were to go in my initial plan, which is Chameleon and Jaguar Rush, you know, I was right. He will just spam this with Torrent Missiles or here. Alright, and then just straight out send the, you know, send my army to the meat grinder. And I don't want that to happen, you know, that will spell lose for me. Alright, I'll lose. Okay, and right now he's fighting back using the Torrents. Alright. So this will be like a, an intense battle, of course, in the middle of the map, alright. And uh, there you go, uh-huh, come on. And any moment now, I'll go ahead and micro my units to avoid losing them, to recover the HP, uh, HP. And somehow, if they're like on a position where they can like deal damage, alright, and then the enemy is like not firing at them, so their, their value in the game is growing, alright, so... Better yet, save your units as much as you can to, of course, maximize their value. Alright, so that uh, small skirmish in the middle of the map was actually my small victory. Alright, and I was even able to, uh, I was able to take out the bunker over here. And then he, of course, uh, went out to uh, send his torrents away or move it elsewhere. Alright, so probably he doesn't have any space for him to build... Uh, Avia Factory, as you can see, doesn't have any spaces. Maybe here. Alright. But, of course, if he did replace one of his buildings, like he destroyed this, you will actually see it. Alright. And there you go. Of course, guys, um, in the middle of the map, since there's, there's like a small space here, so as much as possible, spread your units. Because one torrent fire or, you know, three torrents can, can lay waste to your army very, very quickly. Alright. And now I'm slowly marching up my units over here as you can see. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move this. Alright. Okay, so no Avia Factory. No Avia Factory or whatsoever. That will actually, uh, you know, uh, send my units to Oblivion. If ever he spam Cyclone, since I just have two porcupines, all right. So uh, that's very uh, essential information that you can get with just one rifleman <laughs> hidden in the uh, forest, all right. Okay, and he's still producing units. As you can see, I can see where he places his uh, torrents and such. So very, very important scout over there. And right now, I am adding uh, Mammoths. Okay. Mammoths, of course, is going to be the name of the game in here. I'm slowly marching and chewing up his army, damaging it. And, of course, this Chameleon will be very, very essential. And as you can see, he will try and go on this choke point, which is a very, very bad idea. Alright, since I have a whole army, you know, camping over here. Alright, and his army can't have like a, you know, like a, a good place to start a siege. Alright. Okay, there you go. As you can see, those torrents, you know, are like firing randomly. And if ever he killed the chameleon, I still have my army. Alright, as you can see, it's a big victory for me. All right. Even though I lost a few units, he lost more than I did. Okay, so and so we're gonna go ahead any moment now and do a counter attack since that was the you know that that's like a big chunk of his army lost there. All right, and while he is starting to reproduce his units, 
it is better to counter attack now. All right. And he don't he don't he don't have anything to defend against this. So pretty much that's GG. All right. And this mammoth thing is very very frustrating as you can see. And uh, if ever I um, slowly march forward, I can just destroy this factory over here with mammoths if ever he still resists. All right. And uh, yeah, there you have it. Mm-hmm. Good game. So, actually, that's a you know I've used like three. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, four or five red boost, and then the rest are gonna be blue boost. I did not even use a blue attack boost on my vehicles. All right, so. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. He just wasted a lot of gold. Gold boost. Alright. Alright, well there you go guys. We're gonna go ahead and fast forward this to, of course, clean the game up. Alright, so he could not actually do a thing. Alright. That's when tactics rule over the game versus gold boost. Okay. Alright guys, well thank you for watching this video, alright, if you uh, like the video, please do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe on my channel, turn on the notification to not miss a thing, alright, and also, alright, share to others that may need uh, help have or may have problems, uh, um, you know, may have problems for, uh, on this map, so uh, this actually is a good tutorial for them, okay, and uh, also guys, don't forget, Alright, to join our Discord channel, the link is in the description below this video. Also, please do follow and like my uh, Facebook page, the uh, in Art of War 3 International page, and also join the group Art of War 3. Alright, stream, videos, discussion, as uh, videos will be posted there to have more audiences. Okay, and also don't forget to check out Beefs' channel, Trev's channel, Will Don's channel, Jodel's channel, Smoking Big. Danky Deer, Badka Chien Bai, alright, Silver Tactician, Rick Han, alright, and also one of my friends, which is gonna be Menthol from PSIH, and my moderators, which is Blind Bandit, alright, Idea More, Webster, and from the Confederation faction, that's gonna be Bumblebee, Shigeo Takuda, Gentleman, alright, and Streamer. And again, guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles. Bye now.